Hi, my name is Rosanna Gao and I'm the president of the Nassau County Gavel Club. Today, I'll be explaining the role of the Toastmaster. The Toastmaster is basically the host or the MC of the meeting. First thing the Toastmaster does is sets up the tone of the meeting. You want to make sure that there's a positive and friendly and welcome environment. Second thing you want to do is you want to explain the structure or the agenda of the meeting. This will definitely benefit new members or guests. As a Toastmaster, you're responsible as the main organizer of the Gavel Club meeting. At the start of the meeting, the Toastmaster gives an introduction which sets the tone for the meeting. This introduction can be a greeting or a comment. For example, Hello public speakers, I hope everyone's having a great day. I'm excited to see everyone here. I hope you're all staying safe. After the introduction, Toastmaster would then have to explain the structure of a typical gavel club meeting in case there are guest speakers or new members. For example, for our meeting today, we'll be having four speakers to present their speeches and four evaluators to provide feedback. We will also be having table topics, which allows members to exercise impromptu speech skills. Finally, Toastmaster is also responsible for introducing each segment of the Gavel Club meeting. For example, after the introduction, you would then have to introduce the next segment, which is invocation. You would say something along the lines of, next up is our invocation by the name of whoever is responsible for invocation. And this applies to every single segment as well as the speakers and the guest speakers. Hi everyone, my name is Eileen Shum and today my role is the invocation. The invocation has the opportunity to start the meeting off on an inspirational, thought-provoking, or humorous note. They can add the word of the day, a humorous story, or a quote, anything to keep the audience engaged, the participants calmed and relaxed to start the meeting. A speaker gives their speech following the pathways. They don't just stand up and start talking. They have to follow their guideline to reach the objective for each speech. Hi, my name is Kevin and I am the evaluator. I evaluate the speech and I give feedback on the speakers to help improve their speech. Some factors that I give feedback on include speed, eye contact, clarity, and pronunciation. Hi. So when you're given the task of being the table topics provider for our class, you only really need to follow a few set of rules. The first being that you get to choose from about four to five students in our class that are raising their hands. Depending on the amount of time we have, you'll usually get the chance to do about four, but if you can, just try fitting in five. Once you do this, you get to go read off of a list of multiple impromptu questions. And for each student that you've picked on, you can give them one question that they have to answer in a time allotment of about 60 seconds. That's kind of the goal they have to reach, which is 60 seconds, but if they can, you just kind of talk about that in your evaluation, which we'll get to later. So once they've given their answer in about a 60 second time slot, you evaluate them. Your evaluation should be based on how well you think they gave their speech, and this is just stuff we went over in class, like filler words, etc. And you should also evaluate them on the amount of time they use to fill their speech in. If a student has a really short speech, you should be careful in mentioning it to them that maybe next time they should give a longer speech. If they have so a speech that's too long and you think they could have cut it short, also mention that. Uh, an example of a table topic question would be, what do you want to be when you grow up? Give a student 60 seconds to answer. Always give them a chance to think about it, maybe five seconds, and then go on. Thank you. Hello, my name is Matthew and I am a officer at the NASA County Gavel Club. Today I will be explaining the role that is the awe counter. The awe counter is an important role to the NASA County Gavel Club. At the end of each meeting, they will report how many filler words each member has used. And this helps document progress within a person's public speaking experience as well as figure out what they need to do better in order to be more successful in their environment. It also gives 
people an idea of unintended words or phrases that they used within their speeches, which helps for correction. It's an important role within people's careers as public speakers, and that's why we use it in the curriculum. Thank you. Timer, our job is to assist the speakers. We have to record, remind, and report the time used by each speaker. We will have a sheet of paper to record every speaker's time used. We will also have three color pages, one red, yellow, and one green. For the green one, we will use it when there is only one minute left in the presentation. For the yellow one, we will use it when there is only 30 seconds left in the presentation. For the red one, we will use it when the presentation is completely over. As for table topics, we will use the green when the speaker used 30 seconds. We will use yellow when the speaker used 45 seconds. And we will use red when the speaker used the whole minute.